Alrighty, hey everybody, this is going to be a model review of the brand new Caterpillar 633D and 639D released by CCM in 148 scale. I'm going to be going over the functionality first with the 33D as well as the details. And then I will go over the details of the 39, being that there's not too many other than it's a twin engine scraper. So um, we, I'm just gonna move the 39 to the side for now and do most of, like I said, my functionality and everything else with the 33. Um, before we begin with these models, um, I would just like to say these are both 16 out of 300, so there's only 300 of each made. They are, I believe, s sold out um, or spoken for, so these are going to be very hard, if not impossible, to come by as of the timing of this review. Um, there might be some that get sold in the secondhand market, but as far as now, CCM is not uh, selling anybody other than to the one people who have reserved them well in advance. I will be going over the collector's cards first. So this is the 639D's collector card. You can see mine's 16 out of 300. Um, mine is, the, or these are only single-sided. They're not, they don't fold open like previous brochures for Caterpillar models that they've released in the past. And then there is the 33. And there's the back side. So if you'd like to pause the video, you can look at all the engine specs and everything. Moving on to the review with the functionality. So the 30, the bowl, on the model raises up to a very good height. And on my 633s, it is not very tight. You can see that is quite a bit. My finger can completely go underneath the bowl. So that is very good to see. Um, the elevating mechanism, which is different than a conventional scraper. So if you guys have like, for example, 633, six, sorry, 637D or the 631, sorry, 631E or 637E, um, you'll know that the, the ejector pushes forward and the bale lifts up and all the dirt would fall out. But on a elevating scraper, the way this works is your, your underside is closed here and then the ejector basically would just open up and the dirt would fall out since it can't push it forward with there being an elevator, elevating mechanism there. So... Um, that is how that is works and that the CCM has executed replicating that very well. This uh, elevating mechanism also lifts up a little bit, as you can see. There is an opening door for the sake of time. I'm not going to open, open it. And then your scraper rolls very smoothly and it turns left to right very smoothly as well. So the functionality on this model is phenomenal. Um, the one bit of functionality I know a lot of people are going to hate on um, is the fact that this is a non-functioning, it is a stationary um, paddle wheel or elevating mechanism, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I know a lot of people are going to trash talk that, but it is very, very hard, if not impossible, to replicate this chain system with these individual link chains and make it not break. I know CCM as far has created other models with very, very uh, fine mechanisms. For The one that comes to mind is the 735B articulated truck. It has, it has a opening um, tailgate on the back with those little chains. Mine on it, the first time I lifted up the dump box, those chains broke. So now mine no longer opens up. So for me, with it being very fragile, I would rather just have the elevate. I, I would just rather have an a, a, a uh, paddle wheel not be movable and break. And I've been wanting, as well as I, I believe a lot of other scraper collectors out there have been wanting a elevating scraper with a realistic elevating mechanism. Um, the last elevating scraper I believe that has been made 
um, was the Norscott 623, and that elevating mechanism was made with a rubber belt, and it just had no sort of realism to it. And so I am very happy CCM has replicating, replicated an elevating scraper with a realistic looking um, paddle wheel. So that is all I'm going to say about the paddle wheel. If you don't like that it doesn't move, then just don't buy the model. Um, so I'm gonna be going on now with the detail. So we'll start off at the front here. So the color match on the hubs and the metal or the rest of the body of the scraper, I should say, is spot on. Um, you've got really good bolt detail in here. Um, your tires are not shiny. It's a matte black, so they look realistic. You've got a metal step ladder here. Like I said, the door does open. Um, and then inside you would see a steering wheel with your three levers and all the decaling for the instrumentation and everything is in there, as you would expect from a CCM model. You have your little cat decal here. Um, your air conditioning unit up here, this is an enclosed cab. Um, moving to the front of the scraper, you can see it says 633D with the Pac-Man. Um, you have a windshield wiper, um, painted headlights, a etched through radiator. You've got a guard on the front for the bumper, a metal air intake, as well as exhaust stack. Moving on to the side of the scraper. You can see you've got a mirror here. Um, and here's a better look at your air intake. You've got two oil filters down here that do have, they do say cat. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but they say cat in there with the block C. You do have warning decaling there. Um, and then getting on to the side where you, you have the transition area with the transmission, you can see you, you have all the hoses, moving cylinders, the paint match is fantastic. You've got cat written up here, cat written down here, all the piping, um, right here, my hose has broken. I'm aware of that. It broke during shipping. So a little bit of glue, it'll be fine. Um, and I am going to turn this so you can see the back there with all the hoses and like I said, the transmission and everything. I've done a fantastic job with this model as far as that goes. Um, you've got your 633D Caterpillar written on the, uh, on the, um, the can or the bowl. You've got all these lines etched in there. Um, here's your back tire. It's got a nice bolt detail on the rim. Um, you can see your tread pattern. Um, this, as well as the eject or the uh, elevating mechanism, is out of plastic. The paint match is very good, so you can't tell. But for the sake of this review, I am going to say that it is plastic. And the only complaint detail-wise that I have with this model is, and it was something I was hoping CCM would fix, having operated scrapers, especially... Uh, elevating scrapers in the past, this guard up here would have a perforated screen over it. And that would be to protect the operator if it was an open ROPS machine or any of the hosing as well as the cab from flying rocks or dirt. Because when you use these scrapers, the top up here kicks up a lot of rock and dirt. So I'm very disappointed that they didn't put in the perforations on this guard um, that is the only uh, negative thing I'm going to say about this model, as well as the 39. Both of them don't have it modeled. So, um, but anyway, moving on, you've got two pick points here for, I guess, if you wanted to crane it or tie it off to a, to a low boy. Um, here's the back here. You can see your stinger, as well as the tread pattern on the uh, tires. And then I'm going to just... Uh, show kind of the back of the cab, as you can kind of already see. It does have a um, windshield wiper back there as well. So that is the 633D, and here is the 639. 
like I've already said, all, most of the detail and the functionality is identical to the 633D. This just being a twin engine scraper, obviously, it's going to have more detail towards the rear of the scraper. Um, so the differences with this one, besides the obvious there being a, um, a, a rear engine, this has a much higher guard on it. Again, this is hollow in here. They should have put a metal mesh screen because that protects the rear engine from dirt overflowing and and messing up the engine and transmission and etc on the rear of the scraper. So CCM did not do that as well as the elevating mechanism. That to me is a disappointment, like I've said with the 33D, um, but it, it, it is what it is. So anyway, um, your tire um, rim on the back of with the 39D has the same bolt detail as the front axle does, whereas on the 33 it didn't. And then you obviously have an air intake and exhaust. You can see in there, you've got anti-slip texture on the on the um, brims and on the top of the engine, um, but you can also see your engine detail in there. Um, getting towards the rear of the scraper, you can see there's a Caterpillar decal there, there's your Stinger, and the engine uh, vent is perforated through like it was on the front of both scrapers. So, and then getting to the underside, because I know I didn't show that, you can see your push bar where the uh, ejector opens up to release the dirt. So, I'm going to be concluding my model review of these scrapers. So, my opinion about these models, um, I am very... For the most part, very happy with both models. Um, being a big scraper fan, um, I've been waiting for a, a realistic elevating scraper. Like having said, having also operated both, um, or having operated elevating scrapers before, it was something that I definitely wanted a model company to um, make and and make look realistic because the modeling technology is now there that there is no reason we can't have a realistic looking elevating scraper um, unlike the Norscott one with its rubber eject, uh, rubber paddle wheel. So if it bothers you that the elevating mechanism is static and that it's plastic then, I mean, you can't, then just don't buy this model. I think these are already sold out anyway. There was only 300 of both models made. So um, if you can find one through a, another model, OE, you know, uh, distributor or seller, then I would say jump on these if you're a scraper fan. Um, for me, the only downfall I can see with, with these scrapers is, like I've already stated, the non-perforated uh, screen put over the paddle wheel. And um, that was something that I was hoping CCM would fix when they released the prototypes of these on their website. But they didn't. So, it, like I've said, if the, if, the, if the elevator not moving, or sorry, if the, eject, the um, paddle wheel not moving and it being plastic and the screening... If that bothers you, then don't buy these. Otherwise, I think these are re executed relatively well, and I would have no problem recommending these as currently the most realistic elevating scraper there is out there. Um, so that'll conclude this model review. Thank you. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.